open the sad thing. So people get into higher consciousness somehow thinking that if they uh, study and collect knowledge that they will become more conscious. And this is because we go to school and we study and we collect knowledge which we can then repeat in a classroom in an exam and we get a mark and as a result we get a career if we get a good mark. But in higher consciousness this doesn't give you higher consciousness. The collection of knowledge in no way makes you more conscious. It makes you more knowledgeable but not more conscious. And this is a very big mistake that a lot of seekers make. Instead of actually going for higher consciousness they go for more knowledge without raising their consciousness levels at all. And so they basically stay in a lot of ways ignorant. Ignorant to their own process, ignorant to beingness. If we start looking at our own mind, examining it, seeing how it works, we discover pretty quickly that there's things that it does that don't serve anything in particular. They're patterns left over from childhood that are actually now very much in the way of us having a successful happy life. But of course that's just seeing. And somehow there's also some belief that if we see something, that will change it and, and we won't do it anymore. Well, that's just not true also. If we have a habit of doing something, we will continue that habit, that pattern, because that will be our default pattern and it's unconscious in us. The only way to really change something about ourselves is to bring in uh, a discipline of some kind, a change, something that we practice. So for instance, if we notice that we're worrying and we don't want to worry anymore, we have to bring in a practice of being vigilant to when we're worrying, in other words, catch ourselves, become conscious that that's actually what we're doing and then we have to bring in another pattern of change. In other words, stop. Stop worrying. There's nothing to think about. Thinking about will take you into further worry. You just stop it. Now if you have that practice and you are vigilant with it and you're disciplined with it, eventually your mind will stop the practice of worrying. It might take a few years of practice and people go, well, I can do it faster than that. Well, you know, you probably can't. Default patterns, to override a default pattern, say you have a default pattern of being a warrior, it'll take a couple of years of practice to develop a pattern strong enough to override and become your default pattern. And that practice uh, needs to be done. And so people here are uh, different things. They study different things and they think somehow that that's it, that they get it. Well, if they get it, it becomes your default pattern. In other words, you don't have to think about it anymore and it doesn't happen anymore. It's gone, in fact. And then you can say, well, yes, I've overcome that particular problem. I've got rid of it. But it takes a fair bit of practice. So we talk about meditation being in the moment, being present to what is real. Well, if you're practiced at dreaming, if you're practiced at not being present to reality, the practice of coming back to reality, putting your awareness on something that is real, would need to be pretty continuous for a few years before you became very present to reality. 
and people don't realize the amount of practice that's actually required because of course if we're dreaming it's very hard to raise our consciousness levels because we're not in anything that's real at all we're in dream we're unconscious in fact so meditation gives you the the basis for higher consciousness in that it allows you to be present to what is real instead of present to what is not real your dreams your projections your thoughts your ideologies none of which are real and so if you have a teacher or you're doing it by yourself you need to keep in mind that you have to have a practice that is continuous and it has to be for a long period of time otherwise it's not going to make much difference a lot of people like to think oh there's nothing to do we are already being this well that's true we are already being this but if there's a whole pile of obstacles that are in the way of you experiencing or seeing that well there is something to do and the something to do is to remove the obstacles and that's actually what I'm talking about here removing the things that are in the way of you finding yourself as truth and that takes practice if you have a default pattern of entertaining dream whether it be worry or fantasy whatever that is actually where your awareness is going to go it's not going to go to beingness it's not going to lock on to beingness it's going to go to your dream so meditation enables surrender it enables you to be aware of what is real it enables you to live in the moment rather than live in the dream in your head and it's a wonderful thing to do but it means you have to practice if you don't practice you won't get good at it because we get very good at what we practice and if all we do is practice dreaming entertaining our projections our worry whatever else our fantasies that's the only thing we'll be good at if we practice you know being a victim that's what we're going to be good at we practice getting angry we're going to be good at that if we practice deserting our dream for reality which is meditation reality being aware of reality then we get very good at that so it's up to you you can delude yourself into thinking that somehow you can raise your consciousness levels another way but that's delusion no amount of knowledge can raise your consciousness levels no amount of study only being present to the moment removing the obstacles that are in the way and seeing how it all ticks nothing else then you find beingness and because you have a mind that is relatively disciplined now to get out of the way awareness can stay on itself but because you've done the work the work being you've removed the obstacles that are in the way through vigilance and discipline and it's up to you this is your journey put your totality into it and it works really well like everything else in life put your partiality into it and it doesn't work well at all like everything else in life it's up to you what do you want for you thank you for satsang